In this video, we're going to go through how to calculate Simpson's diversity index. When we get a measure for SDI, it takes into account both species richness and species evenness. So species richness is the, the total number of different species that can be found in a sample. And we can use this formula to calculate species richness if the number of individuals in two areas is different. Species evenness, in contrast, is the relative abundance of each species in a sample. So it tells us if there's an approximately even a number of individuals of each species, or if there's one species that's really dominating, then species evenness would be very low. So SDI takes into account both these factors, and it does this by using the formula 1, take away the sum of little n multiplied by n take 1 divided by big N outside of n take 1. So I'm going to take you through how to do that. So let's say this is our community, and within our community we found six different species. So in this case our species richness would be six. Little n stands for the number of individuals of each species that are found in that community. In order to use this formula, we also need to find n take 1. So that's just this number, subtract 1. So in this case, it would be 48. For 17, it would be 16. 11, 10, 9, 5 would be 4, and seven, uh, 8 take 1 would be 7. So to help us work out the top line of this formula, we need to multiply n by n take 1. So in this case, we would end up with... 49 multiplied by 48 and that's going to give us 2,352. 17 multiplied by 16 gives us 272. 11 by 10 gives us 110. 10 by 9 gives us 90. 5 by 4 is 20. And 8 multiplied by 7 is 56. So we have all of the n multiplied by n take 1 for each species. But in our formula, the sigma here means to sum all of those values. So in our case, for us to work out the sum of n outside n take 1, we need to add up all of these values. And in this case, they come to 2,900. When we look at the capital N, that's asking us, well, how many individuals were there in total? So this stands for the total number of individuals in that one sample. So in this case, we're going to add up all of these numbers here. And so in this case, if we add all those up, N equals 100. So we have the information that we need in order to use our formula. So if we go back to it, we've got SDI equals 1, take away the sum of n over uh, n multiplied by n take 1, which is 2,900. And we're going to divide that by 100 outside of 100 take 1, which is 99. So if we take that through, it's 2,900 divided by 9,900, that's going to be equal to 1, take away 0 0.29. So the SDI is equal to 0 0.71. So this number is quite important. We can calculate the chance that we would pick two individuals at random and if they would be the same or the different species. So in this case, the SDI tells us that there is a 71% chance that two individuals selected at random from this community would be different from different species. Okay, so if we had an SDI of 0.71, this means there is a 71% chance that two individuals selected at random from this community would be from a different species. 
if we wanted to think about that in the reverse, if we subtract the Simpsons diversity index from 1, that would give us a value of 0.29, which means there's a 29% chance that those two individuals selected at random would be from the same species. Okay. So the SDI tells us the chance of the individuals being from different species. Okay, I hope you feel confident working out Simpson's diversity index.